exalted. And we appreciate you for the grace to be in your presence one more time. Lion of the tribe of Judah, you are awesome, you are mighty, you are great, you are powerful. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. Daddy, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Forever, oh Lord, your word is settled. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm standing on a rock. I'm standing on a rock. I'm standing on a rock. Oh, Jesus is the rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. Jesus is the rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. Ooh, Jesus is the rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. I am standing on a rock. Jesus is the rock. I am standing on the rock. I am standing on the rock. I am standing on the rock. Ooh, Jesus is the rock. I am standing on the rock. Are you standing on the rock? I am standing on the rock. Jesus is the rock. I am standing on the rock. Eternal rock of ages. I am standing on the rock. Jesus is the rock. I am standing on the rock. We are standing on the rock. We are standing on the rock. Jesus is the rock. Lift up your voice, eternal rock of ages. Thank you for being my foundation. Thank you for sustaining me. Thank you for not making me to sleep. Lift up your voice and pray. Eternal rock of ages. Thank you for being my fortress. Thank you for being my strength. Thank you for being my foundation. Thank you for not allowing me to fall. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. Eternal rock of ages, I thank you, Lord, for not allowing me to fall. Lift up your voice and pray. Eternal rock of ages, thank you for being my rock. Thank you for being my fortress. Lift up your voice and pray. Lion of the tribe of Judah, thank you for being my rock. Thank you for being my fortress. Thank you for not allowing my feet to sleep. Lift up your voice and pray. You did not allow my path to be slippery. Eternal rock of ages, I thank you. Lift up your voice and I appreciate it. Thank him for your past. Thank him for your today. Thank him for your tomorrow. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his righteousness. Thank him for healing. Thank him for deliverance. Thank him for favor. Thank him for might. Thank him for power. Lift up your voice and worship him. Thank him for who he is, who he has been to you, for how far he has brought you. Without him, we are nothing. Let us appreciate the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let us give him praise. Let us worship him. Let us honor him. Let us adore him. Jesus, you are great. Jesus, you are great. Ah, Jesus, you are great. Messiah, you are great. Jesus, you are great. Jesus, you are great. Oh, Jesus, you are great. Messiah, you are great. Jesus, you are great. Jesus, you are great. Ah, Jesus, you are great. Messiah, you are great. Greater than my battles, greater than the demons. Greater than the devil, Messiah, you are great. Greater than my battles, greater than the demons, greater than the devil, Messiah, you are great. Oh, greater than my battles, greater than the demons, greater than the devil, Messiah, you are great. Lift up your voice and appreciate the Lord for his greatness. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for your life. Thank him for waking you up this morning. Thank you for him for preserving your life. Thank him for bringing you to this 29th day of June, 2021. Thank him for the abundance of his love, for the abundance of his mercy, for the abundance of his faithfulness. Thank him for the abundance of his kindness. Oh, worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancient of days, and the I am that I am. Give him praise. 
Give him praise. Give him praise. There is no one like our God. There is no one like Jehovah. Whatever he says, heaven and earth obeys him. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. There is no one like Jehovah. Whatever he says, heaven and earth obeys him. There is no one like our God. Appreciate him, worship him, honor him, adore him. There is no one like him. He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of honor. He's worthy of adoration. Thank him for your life. Thank him for how far he has brought you. Thank him for sparing your life, for keeping you alive and well. The Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. You may not be where you want to be. You may not have some things you want to have, but thank God because you are alive. The word of the Lord says a man that is living has hope. Unto him that is John will be living, there is hope. Thank him for sparing you in the land of the living. The Bible says that there is no remembrance or work in the grave. I appreciate God. He did not make you to become a tenant in the grave. He did not make you to become a landlord in the grave. He did not make you to change your address to the graveyard. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. There are some people every year is when they receive visitors because they are already in the graveyard. I appreciate him for not sending you to the graveyard. Say, Lord, I thank you for sparing my life. Oh, the Bible said David cried. He said, I slept and I woke up because the Lord sustained me. Thank the Lord for sustaining you, for keeping you alive and well, for keeping your home, for keeping your marriage. I appreciate him this morning. 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 <coughs> Give praise to his holy name. Give praise to his holy name. He is worthy of praise. Is worthy of honor, is worthy of adoration. Let us worship him, let us honor him, let us adore him. Bless his holy name. Power belongs to him, might belongs to him, glory belongs to him, honor belongs to him, adoration belongs to him. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I drink the blood. The blood of Jesus. I choose my word deliberately. I drink D R I N K. I drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood. The blood of Jesus, I drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 I drink the blood. The blood of Jesus, I drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. We drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. We drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. We drink the blood, the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice, say, Lord Jesus, I drink your blood this morning. Let me receive antibody from every sickness, from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I am immune against every sickness. I am immune against every infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus. I am immune against every sickness. I am immune against every infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I receive immunity. Immunity against every sickness. Immunity against every infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I drink the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I receive immunity, immunity against sicknesses, immunity against diseases, immunity against affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I receive immunity against all forms of sicknesses. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I am immune against affliction. 
I am immune against sicknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I am immune against sicknesses, against all forms of affliction in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I receive divine immunity. Immunity against sicknesses, immunity against all forms of affliction. I drink the blood of the Lamb. I am immune against sicknesses. I am immune against infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The book of Matthew 17, 15. Matthew 17, 15 says, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. Beloved, I want you to pay attention to some silent points in this verse, in this scripture, so that you can be in a better position to pray. When every situation is beyond you, you know, when every situation is beyond you, all you have to do is to cry for mercy. Mercy is an acknowledgement of your weakness before God. Mercy is an acknowledgement of the fact that you cannot help yourself. This prayer session is called Hour of Mercy, not by mistake. When we come to Hour of Mercy, we are telling the Lord the situation is beyond us. When we come to Hour of Mercy, we are telling the Lord we do not have power to address the situation. When we come to Hour of Mercy, we are telling the Lord that hmm, we have not only messed up, life has messed us up. We are telling the Lord life has not only messed us up, we have messed up. We cannot help ourselves. When we come to the hour of mercy, we are telling God, defeat is imminent if God does not intervene. When we come to the hour of mercy, we are telling God, Daddy, if you do not intervene, shame is imminent. When we come to hour of mercy, we acknowledge that we are not sufficient. This boy in the story of Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 17, verse 15, had a great destiny. He was a boy who had a great destiny. Perhaps he was a student. While in school, the spirit of lunatic will come. He will be putting him in fire and in water. If he was a student, it will be difficult to continue education. If he was in Harvard, Harvard will no longer have meaning in his life. If he was a professor, a career person, imagine why teaching students suddenly he began to behave like a lunatic. If he was a medical doctor, imagine while attending to visit to, to patients, he himself began to display lunatism. Oh, if he was a gospel artist, imagine in the, in the front of thousands of people while performing ministration, he himself began to display lunatism. Every, no matter what the condition, what the career the person may have, with this condition, Delay is imminent. With this condition, success is, is, is a mirage. It's no longer sure. God has given you great destiny, even greater than the one gave to this boy in the Bible. God has given you mighty future. But there are forces both within us and from outside us that have been sent to destroy the destiny at all costs. The forces have done so much damage to the destiny of the boy that even his own father called him a madman. His own father was the one describing his condition. His own father told the Lord Jesus, my son is lunatic. When your situation gets so bad, the enemy comes to give you a name that changes your identity. In this story, we do not know the name of this boy. We do not know his name. In the day he was given birth to, he was not called Mr. Lunatic. He had a name. But when lunatism took over, his name became irrelevant. Oh, problems of life have a way of making our identity irrelevant. Problems of life have a way of making our achievement irrelevant. Problems of life have a way of making our successes irrelevant. This boy became a nobody. His own father called him a mad boy. The people that loved him most, Call him a bad boy. 
you know, the situation has become so bad that you are no longer being called by your name. The situation has become so bad that people call you the barren, the divorcee, the homeless, the jobless, the sickler. Oh, today, my God will visit you. I say, my God will visit you. I say, my God will visit you. When the problem seems to overwhelm us, the enemy comes and throws us eta skater. Just as the enemy began to throw the boy from fire to water, the enemy began to give us a run around. You know, at that point, this boy has got into a crossroad. Maybe tonight you are at the crossroad. Maybe tonight you are at the crossroad. Maybe tonight you do not know what to do. Maybe tonight, oh, you are confused. But today, you have come to a company of innumerable angels. You have come to a mountain that knows the feeling of your infirmity. You have come to a mountain that has passion for you. Today, the God of the hour of mercy shall visit you in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice, say, my father, my God, this battle is too strong for me. Lord, have mercy on me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. My father, my God, this battle is too strong for me. Have mercy on me in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my God, this battle is too strong for me. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient of days, this battle is too strong for me. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. I am that I am. This battle is too strong for me. Have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. This battle is too strong for me. Have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Lion of the tribe of Judah, this battle is too strong for me. Have mercy upon me. I am about to be defeated. I am about to be consumed. Have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. This battle has given me a new identity, an ungodly identity, a very demeaning identity. Lord, have mercy upon me. Change my story this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon me. This battle is too strong for me. Lord, show me mercy. Deliver me now in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I just want you to follow me tonight. Follow the God of Yahweh of mercy tonight. There is something great that God wants to do for you. Jesus has the final say. Jesus has the final say. No matter what the devil may say. Jesus has the final say. Oh, Jesus has the final say. Messiah has the final say. No matter what the devil may say. Jesus has the final say. Jesus has the final say. Jesus alone the final say. No matter what the devil may say. Jesus has the final say. Oh, Jesus has the final say. Jesus has the final say. No matter what the devil may say. Ah, Jesus has the final say. Lift up your voice. Say, my father, my God, you are the one who has the final say over my life. Do not allow my enemy to laugh last over me. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the one who has the final say over my life. Do not allow the enemy to laugh last over me. Lift up your voice and pray. You are the one who has the final say over my life. Do not allow the enemy to laugh last over me. Way short of this. You are the one who has the final say over my life. Do not allow the enemy to have the final say. You are the one who has the last laugh over my life. You are the one who has the final say over my life. Do not allow my enemy to have the last laugh over my story. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, show me mercy. I pray to you today in the name of Jesus. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Lift up your voice and pray. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. 
Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Silence every voice of antagonism, every voice of opposition. Oh Lord, let your mercy silence them. Let your mercy swallow the voices of opposition in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A force came from the pit of hell to destroy the destiny of this young boy. To destroy his destiny. If he was a medical doctor, a mad boy cannot perform as a doctor. He would have closed shop. If he was an employee, by the time at work, he starts behaving like a lunatic, they would have fired him. No, even if he was a married woman, it is possible that marriage will be over. It does not matter whatever he finds himself to do. His destiny was already being destroyed by the devil. Lift up your voice, say, my father, my God, whatever the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Everything and anything that the devil has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planted in me to consume my destiny, to destroy my destiny, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Whatever the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, whatever the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planted in me to destroy my destiny, be consumed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Every seed of destruction in me be consumed by the fire of heaven. Every seed of destruction in me be consumed by the fire in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pertaining to that boy, the devil planted lunatism. What is lunatism? Lunatism makes people to behave in an unusual manner. What is lunatism? In spiritual parlance, lunatism is also likened to sin and iniquity. It is sin that makes some you to sometimes behave in an unusual manner. It is madness. It is madness for somebody to get scholarship from Nigeria full scholarship, four years scholarship to study science class, engineering in America, and to go and steal something worth $10 in Walmart. And at the end of the day, she was not only arrested, he or she was not only arrested, the person's scholarship was canceled and was sent back to Nigeria where Nepal carried take light. It is madness. It is lunatism that makes a man to have a very beautiful wife Yet you go and impregnate the ugly house girl. It is lunatism. It is madness that makes someone who is self-sufficient. We all add out the daughter of a multi-millionaire who had millions at her disposal, was arrested for stealing in the store. <coughs> Excuse me. It is madness. It is lunatism. So sin makes people to behave in an unusual manner. This boy, when the spirit of madness comes, one minute he will be in fire, the other minute he will be in water. Embarrassment and shame became his portion. That is what happens. What are those sins? One minute they put you in trouble, the other minute they put you in crisis. What are those habits? One minute they put you in trouble, the other minute they put you in crisis. They are the seed of destruction in your life. Lift up your voice, say, my father, my God, I come to Calvary this morning. Every seed that has been planted in me to destroy me, be consumed by the fire of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Every seed planted in my children to destroy them, be consumed by the fire of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. 
every seed planted in my sons and daughters to destroy them, be consumed by the fire of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Every seed planted in me to destroy me, be removed by the hand of God Almighty. Every seed planted in my children to destroy them, be removed by the hand of God Almighty. Be removed, be removed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is madness for somebody to be studying abroad. The parents, your parents sent you to study abroad. They pull you out of Okokomaiko University in Africa. And they brought you to University of Maryland, to George Washington University, to Straya University, to Harvard University, to Howard University, to University of Indiana, to come and do good things. And you get to this land, you begin to misbehave. It is madness. You get to this land, you begin to misbehave. It is madness. It is madness. It is madness. It is madness. An international student went to club while the parents were struggling to say naira to dollar. Went to club, got drunk, and began to fight. I was arrested for stabbing somebody. It is madness. You are going to pray. God remove the seed of madness in my life. Every seed of madness remove in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Remove the seed of madness in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of my life, every madness be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Every madness be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Every madness be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Every madness be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Every madness be gone in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Do you know madness is what the Bible calls it? Madness or foolishness or folly, madness, stupidity is what the Bible calls it. In the book of Proverbs 22, 15, it says folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. Madness is in, hidden in the heart of a child, but discipline will drive it away. Madness, madness, madness. You are going to pray, my father, my God. Every madness in my heart, every madness in the heart of my wife, every madness in the heart of my children, let the rod of God chase them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the rod of God chase them away. Every madness in my heart, let the rod of God chase them away in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the rod of the Almighty chase away every madness in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the rod of the Almighty chase away every madness in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Rod of the Almighty chase away every madness in my home in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray. My destiny shall not be terminated. Oh yes, my destiny will not be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. My destiny will not be terminated. My destiny will not be destroyed. Lift up your voice and pray. My destiny, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny. Any form of manipulation, reject it. Any form of manipulation, reject it. My destiny, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny. Any form of manipulation, reject it. Any form of manipulation, reject it. Oh, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny. Any form of manipulation, reject it. Any form of manipulation, reject it. My destiny, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny. Any form of manipulation, reject it. 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 My destiny. You will not cooperate with satanic manipulation in the mighty name of Jesus. The destiny of my children, the destiny of my wife, you will not cooperate with satanic manipulation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. My destiny, 
You will not cooperate with satanic manipulation. The destiny of my children, this destiny of my wife, you will not cooperate with satanic manipulation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I decree and declare upon your life that your destiny will refuse manipulation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 19. 1 Samuel 1 19 b says, Then Ekena was intimate with his wife, Anna, and the Lord remembered her. Ekena was intimate with his wife, Anna, and the Lord remembered her. Beloved, this wasn't the first time Elkina, Elkina became intimate with his wife. But what made this one to be relevant? What made this one to find space in the book of life is because the Lord remembered her. I want to assure you, beloved, it doesn't matter how long you have been trying. It does not matter how long you have been going through challenges. It does not matter how long you have been going through fail, get and lose. It does not matter how long you have been going through disappointment. One day, there is a day that God has set apart to remember you. Let that day come quickly. Let that day come quickly. Let that day come speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you don't get it. I say it does not matter how many times you have failed. It does not matter how many times you have suffered disappointment. It does not matter how many times you have been disgraced. It does not matter how many times you have been put to shame. There is a day of destiny that has been set apart for God to remember you. That day will not pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, am I sure? Psalm 112 verse, 20, verse 6. Psalm 112 verse 6 says, The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. God has prepared everlasting remembrance for you. Just as we are talking about the story of the remembrance of Anna, generations to come will talk about the story of your remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Generations to come will talk about the story of your remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Generations to come will talk about the story of your remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Generations to come, you know, in Psalm 37, verse 25, Psalm 37, verse 25, David said, he said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. I come to assure you that there is a day of remembrance around the corner. You shall not be forsaken. Your children shall not be begging for bread. You shall not be forsaken. Your children will not beg for bread. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you because you are a faithful God. Why don't you take a moment to thank the Lord? He is a faithful God. I thank you, Lord, because you are a faithful God. <coughs> I thank you, Lord, because you are a faithful God. I thank you, Lord, because you are a faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God of faithfulness, remember me now according to your word in the name of Jesus. Faithful Father, remember me now. 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 Remember me, O oh Father. Remember me, O oh Son. Remember me, Holy Spirit, I am ready to break through. Remember me, O oh Father. Remember me, O oh Son. Remember me, Holy Ghost, I am ready to break through. Remember me, O oh Father. Remember me, O oh Son. Remember me, Holy Ghost, I am ready to break through. Remember me, Jesus. Remember me, Jesus. Remember me, Messiah, I am ready to break through. Remember me, O oh Father. Remember me, O oh Son. Remember me, Holy Ghost, I am ready to break through. Lift up your voice, say, Lord, bring me to remembrance by your mercy. Bring me to remembrance by your mercy. Let my day of remembrance not pass by. My day of remembrance will not pass me by. My season of remembrance will not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remain in joyful expectation of the day of your visitation. I shall not miss it. Heavenly Father, I remain in joyful expectation of the day of your visitation. I shall not miss it. I remain in joyful expectation of the day of your visitation. I shall not miss divine visitation. Lift up your voice and pray. I shall not miss divine visitation. I remain in expectation, in joyful expectation. I shall not miss divine visitation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice. Every demon sent to distract me in the day of my visitation. Fail in the name of Jesus. Every demon sent to distract me 
in the day of my visitation. Fail in the name of Jesus. Every demon sent to distract me in the day of my visitation. Fail in the name of Jesus. Every demon sent to distract me in the day of my divine visitation. Fail in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Every demon sent to destroy me, to distract me. In the day of my divine visitation, I command you to fail. You are a liar. I am not deceivable. In the mighty name of Jesus, every demon sent to distract me in the day of my divine visitation, fail in the name of Jesus. Every demonic cloud sent to manipulate me in the day of my remembrance, fail in the name of Jesus. Every demonic cloud sent to manipulate my day of remembrance, fail in the name of Jesus. Every satanic cloud sent to manipulate my day of remembrance, fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. Every wicked agent sent to distract me in the day of my visitation. I command you to fail in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy sent to make me to miss my visitation. I command you to fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes. Let me not be deceived. Open my eyes, oh Lord. Let me not be deceived. Open my eyes, oh Lord. Let me not be deceived. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, let me not be deceived. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, let me not be deceived. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, let me not be deceived. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Break my yoke. Break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire. Break my yoke. Break my yoke. Break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire. Break my yoke. Amen. This is a, a song of battle. This is a song of deliverance. I want you to sing it as such. Those of you who are lying on your bed, why don't you stand up for a moment? This is the day of great visitation. Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke. Break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke. Break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. 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 Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Break my yoke, break my yoke, Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Lift up your voice, fire of the Holy Ghost. Break my yoke in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I speak into your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your destiny shall not be crippled. Your destiny shall not be destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Exodus 8.20. Exodus 8.20. Then the Lord said to Moses, get up early in the morning and confront Pharaoh as he goes to the river and say to him, this is what the Lord says, let my people go so that they may worship me. I want you to know, beloved, there are powers in the heavenlies, there are powers on earth, there are powers in the river marine power, who has vowed to their God never to let you go. There are ancestral powers working against your destiny, working against the destiny of many children of God. Pharaohs, pharaohs in our family, pharaohs in our place of work are determined, have made vow with their own lives never to let you go. It is not an issue of begging anymore. It is a matter of warfare. It is a matter of confrontation as the Lord had commanded. The Lord told Moses, get up early in the morning, go and confront Pharaoh. As we get up this morning to seek the face of the Lord, may you receive the boldness to confront your enemy. The Bible says God is looking for those who will take the battle to the gate of the enemy. 
I said, may you receive boldness to comfort the Pharaoh of your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot beg out of bondage. Oh, yes. You cannot beg out of bondage. You cannot negotiate out of bondage. No, 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 no. Power is his power. The only way out of bondage is confrontation. He is to fight your way. Freedom that is given to you out of negotiation, there are compromises you have to make. It is not total freedom. If you want to receive total freedom, you have to fight your way to total liberty. God told Moses, Exodus 8.20, go early, early in the morning and confront Pharaoh. Go and confront Pharaoh. Go and confront Pharaoh. It is only the violent that can take their liberty by force. Matthew 11, 20, 12. Matthew 11, 12. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered a violent, and the violent take it by force. Since the days of John the Baptist, the days of John the Baptist has passed. Since that day, the kingdom of God violence, your liberty, your victory suffers violent, and the violent take it by force. Until you arise in violent agitation, may you not die in bondage. I say you will not die in bondage. I say you will not die in bondage. Pharaoh represents anything and everything that is stopping you from achieving your God-given purpose. Everything and anything that is injuring you, that is stopping you from achieving your God-given destiny is who Pharaoh is. Today, in the name of Jesus, you shall take the gate to the battle of the Pharaohs of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, Pharaoh of my destiny, I confront you today in the name of the Father, I confront you today in the name of the Son. I confront you today in the name of the Holy Ghost. Lose your power, Pharaoh of my destiny. I confront you today in the name of God the Father. I confront you today in the name of God the Son. I confront you today in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Lose your power, Pharaoh of my destiny. I confront you today in the name of God the Father. I confront you today in the name of God the Son. I confront you today in the name of God the Holy Ghost. You lose your power, Pharaoh of my destiny. I confront you today in the name of God the Father. I confront you today in the name of God the Son. I confront you today in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Lose your power. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to do wonders. Holy Ghost arise so in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver, power to do wonders. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to do wonders. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver me, power to save me, power to deliver me, power to save me. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver me, power to save me, power to deliver me, power to save me. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise 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 in your power. Holy Ghost arise. You delivered Paul and Silas. Arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Arise and deliver me from the Pharaoh of my destiny. Arise and deliver my son. Arise and deliver my daughter. Arise and deliver my wife. Arise and deliver my ministry. Arise and deliver my business. Arise and deliver my career. Arise and deliver my marriage from the Pharaoh of our destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. 
Holy Ghost, arise and deliver. 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 Lift up your voice and pray. Holy Ghost, arise and deliver. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree and declare upon your life, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice, say, mighty Jehovah. We thank you for your work so far in the life of our daughter. Heal her totally, heal her completely. In the name of Jesus. Read Johanna completely, heal her totally. Shall we pray, shall we pray? Thank you for your work in the life of our daughter. Heal her completely, heal her totally. Restore her from the crown of her head to the sole of our feet. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us pray that the last day of this month, today and tomorrow, are the last days of this month. That the last days of June will bring us good tidings. It's very symbolic. That is the last day of the half of this year. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. Lift up your voice and prophesy. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. In the mighty name of Jesus. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. In the mighty name of Jesus. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. The last day of this month will bring me good tidings. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray this last prayer before our mommy, all of our three prays for us. We are going to pray you will tell the Lord. Lord, with your mighty soul, pierce and cut asunder every marine power tormenting my life. With your mighty sword, mm. oh God, pierce and cut asunder every marine power tormenting my marriage. With your mighty sword, mm. pierce and cut asunder every marine power tormenting my career. Mm. With your mighty sword, pierce and cut mm. asunder Mm. Every man in power tormenting mm. my belief. Mm. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your the name of Jesus. Lift your mighty soul. Yes, and be heard. Yes, and what has done Every man in power tormenting my life. Lift your mighty soul of Jesus. Yes, and what has done Every man in power tormenting my destiny. Yes, and what has done Every man in power tormenting my glory. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, we just thank you. We glorify your name. We worship you, Lord God, this morning. As we are praying, Lord God, through your servant, and you are put, O God, the prayer, Lord God, in the mouth of your servant. Lord Father, let it be so in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. People, Lord God, that you are the line, I want us to pray. Because when our pastor was leading the prayer about our destiny, here carry my son, I even wrote it on the chat board and said, Oh God, don't let the destiny of my children be altered. The destiny of Samson was altered through his wife. I want you to pray, my carry in Delia. Oh God, King of glory, I cry unto you this morning. I ask you, Lord God, don't permit any war from any angle, from any part of my life, from my family, Lord God, to be the source of alteration of my destiny. Oh, Lord, and that of my children, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray, people, as you are hearing me. The destiny of Samson was altered. I listen to my pastor right now. The destiny of Samson was altered through his wife. The wife was the closest person to a man. The husband is the closest person to a woman. Why will the destiny of something be altered by his wife? I want you to pray my yekeri in the mighty day of My destiny will not be altered through any man. My destiny will not be altered through any woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, the destiny of my sister local will not be altered through any prayer, through any friend. In the mighty name of Jesus, some children 
when they are in trouble because somebody look God have altered their destiny. I call upon your name. The spirit of madness will not enter into the life of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the prayer that we just pray. I want you to pray in one minute. The carry the spirit of madness will not enter look on into the mind of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Parents of the land, if you are hearing me, I want you to, to, to pray that prayer. The spirit of madness, the spirit of foolishness will not enter look on into the mind of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. My destiny, oh God, the destiny of my children will not be altered. I keep on repeating the same thing. Yes, oh God, because the destiny of something was altered through his wife. Lord Father, I call upon your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will alter my destiny. Even in my tender family, anyone to, to try, oh God, Lord Father, to mess my destiny. Lord Father, you will damage their plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Father, I call upon your name, Jehovah, in the mighty name name of Jesus. Lord Father, yes, Lord, you create me in this world, oh God, to make it. Anyone that wants to build on the will of my making it or utter the destiny and doubt of my children, Lord Father, you will, Lord Father, you will punish them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we glorify your name. We worship you, honor be to your holy name. And we pray for our daughter that we are praying for. Let your healing power rest upon her. Every part of her body receive healing, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the stripe of Jesus Christ, let that daughter be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. The vessel of her body, the water, Lord God, the blood of her body, receive healing, receive power in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. We pray, we put our voice together to pray for our pastor that day in, day out, oh God. Lord Father, yes, Lord, Pastor, yes. <laughs> And his wife, oh God, let your spirit, oh God, rest upon them. The spirit of encouragement, don't let them be discouraged from anything. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Father, let the spirit of encouragement, oh God, rest upon him. And his wife, oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, and so shall it be. The last day of this month, oh God, let it favor us. In the mighty name of Jesus, the last day, the last day of the month of June, which is the last day, oh God, of one half of this year in the name of Jesus. Let it be a favorable day. Don't let it be a destructive day in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Give Jesus mighty name we pray. Go in peace. Give Jesus name. Amen. Thank you very much, mommy. Your oil will never run dry. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to declare and declare over the life of everyone. Amen. The mighty hand of God will rest upon you. Amen. Jesus mighty name. We want to appreciate all of you for your support for the project in Nigeria. This month of July is a very, very critical month in that project. I want to encourage you to be generous in your giving. The Lord will provide for you. We are praying for you. The Lord will provide for you. You will never lack. Be generous in your giving towards the project. The month of July is very, very critical for the project in Nigeria. Be generous in your giving. The Lord will bless you. You will never lack anything. But if you want to know more about the project, reach out to me personally. And the Lord will bless you. The Lord will prosper you. You will never lack anything good in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and declare upon your life, as you go to bed, victory is yours. As you go to work, victory is yours. Whatever you apply yourself to do, immediately after this prayer, victory is yours. And that victory shall be permanent in Jesus' name. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost, dwell and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Peace in Jesus' name.